and welcome back to Sci Tai Tech. In this video, I want to do a teardown of this baby monitor. I want to see how it works and I want to see if there's any parts worth salvaging. Let's get started. First, I want to work on the receiver of the baby monitor and then do what I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw and remove all of the screws that I can find. Remove the battery panel and it reveals a 9 volt battery clip. These are very useful, definitely worth salvaging. And now continue, see a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, and now all the screws are now removed. Open up the housing. And there, as you can see, it's a very simple circuit. Very nice. This screw did not come out very well, so unscrew it. And now flip over the circuit. And as you can see, the circuit contains a bunch of interesting components. Now I need to carefully remove the speaker. And as you can see, the speaker is glued down by some kind of glue. Pry it open. And there, it removed this very nice speaker. And now I'm going to go ahead and loosen the wires. Pull out the 9 volt battery clip carefully. And now simply cut all the wires. This right here is the female DC input jack. And these are actually very useful. And then simply undo the screws. And there we go, it is now removed. This part is useless. And as you can see, the circuit contains a bunch of interesting components. A bunch of ceramic capacitors, electrolytic capacitors, resistors, transistors, LEDs, diodes, inductors, and a potentiometer and some slide switches. And it also contains a crystal oscillator. And simply cut the wires that is attached to the circuit. And it removes the input female DC jack. And I'll cut the wires to the 9 volt battery clip. And these two components I could definitely use for a future project. Next, cut the wires that are attached to the speaker. And there we go, speaker is now removed. And as you can see, all these components are very useful. I could easily desolder all of them, but I'm not going to take the time to do that because that's a lot of desoldering. So what I'm going to do is leave all the components on the circuit. So that way when I need a component, I can just simply desolder that component. And I'll put it to the side to save for later. And now it's time to do a teardown of the transmitter of the baby monitor. But first I'm going to talk about the 9 volt power supply. This power supply is very useful. Definitely going to keep it as is without tearing it down because I can use it for a future project to power a circuit that requires 9 volts. And as you can see this wire that's attached to it is an audio jack. And if you click on the annotation card on the top right you can be able to see the video that I made this project in where I did wireless sound with using a baby monitor. A very interesting and probably useful project. Now, let's go ahead and do what I always do. See a screw, take a screw, see a screw, take a screw, and remove all of the screws that is in this transmitter. Carefully open up the housing, and now lift up the circuit. Next, cut the auxiliary jack wire. And now this part of the housing is useless. And now I have the auxiliary jack that I'll save for a future project. Put it to the side, and now cut the input voltage wires. And then cut the signal wire. And there, another circuit with a bunch of interesting useful components. Next, undo the screws of the female input jack. And these are the items that I've salvaged from the BB monitor. This 9 volt power supply is very useful. 9 volt battery clip, also very useful. And this auxiliary jack is very useful for a lot of projects. And these two female input power jacks. Very useful. And of course, these two circuits that contain a bunch of different components that are very useful. And as you can see, I'm going to keep everything in the circuit. And whenever I need a component, I can just simply desolder that component. Doing this will prevent anything from getting lost, and it keeps it more organized. And also, this 16 ohm 0.5 watt speaker is very useful. Definitely going to use this for a future project. And there you have it. Now you know what's inside of a baby monitor, how it works, and what kind of components that are worth salvaging. Thank you for watching Sci-Tai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified of future Sci-Tai Tech videos. To the next tech, goodbye.